Right, hi everybody, and welcome back to Lundy's Wirecam Stroke Bushcraft. And as you can see, I'm under my shelter, out of the rain. Happy days. It's a bit of a trickle now, like it's starting to calm down. But uh, yeah, I've had a little bit of a hike in, sorted myself out, and uh, I've just been sitting, chilling, relaxing, talking to Rooney first. I didn't want to do any um, video on of the walk from the other location to here. So it'll just give the game away, to be quite honest. But anyway, there he is. There's there's Rooney, me mucker. Hello, you missed, peeps. Have you missed this, Rooney? Rooney spent the night here by himself last night. Yes, I had an amazing night. I actually managed to sleep all night without thinking about food once. There was no people shouting asleep. I'm hungry. I need the food for a small village. Feed me. I'm actually so Normally I have to get up and give him a biscuit through the night, but that's <laughs> off camera. <laughs> but uh, we'll not go down that way. Like, uh, yeah. Give me here's your biscuit, here's your biscuit, you know. Uh, like, and milk. But anyway. I must be asleep when you do that, because I can't remember that. Like. Oh, I do. I know. I like a biscuit and a hot milk, me. I know you do. I know you do. I've heard you many when you've been asleep. But anyway, that's not supposed to be. Cut that off camera. I'm, I'm, I'm liking my chocolate digestives at the minute at home. And only half a packet with a cup of tea. Yeah, but because I can't afford it, right, because it costs that much to feed you, oh, I'm no. only allowed to buy, like, the cheap, plain digestives from well, Aldi and Lidl. What food you got for the day? What food have I got? I'm not telling you. I've got spicy. I've got chilli con carne. And chicken tikka ka 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 masala. Hey. Mm -hmm. And I've got bombi a bad bo 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 Oh God, he's got he's got a kind of few meals there. He'll never eat them, man. Nah, he he can't eat for toffee him. <laughs> <laughs> I've got uh, well today, I'm on rations because obviously this is my third day out, and I didn't want to bring fresh food for three days and like out and leave it out and about for three days. So for today, I've got a snack. I've got some um, noodles, and then. Another snack. I've got a sneaker bar. Woohoo! I'm gonna have that in a minute actually. I, I, I feel like my throat's being cut. <laughs> then uh, tomorrow morning, I've been, been getting a couple of these trauma meals. So I went and what I've done is I've, I've seen it and it was like seven days worth of food. Obviously, a breakfast and a main meal. Uh, worked out about 90 quid after getting discount and things. And plus, was a, a discount already on the on the main thing. I know it sounds expensive that, but I can feed myself for £90 for a full week. Can you do that these days in the shops? Buying normal meals and things? I don't think so. Not you anyway. It's, it's an expensive hobby eating. And I know, because I eat a lot. And I, and I work in a shop, in a big retail shop, all right? And I see the prices changing all the time. And I'll tell you what, the packages of the, um, the food is getting littler and the prices are getting higher and they're about to go up again next week and anyway enough about that and then my main meal for tonight is a nice orange one woohoo they've colour coded them and this one here what is it I've got I can't, I can't remember where they put the name of it I can't see what it is I haven't, I haven't got my glasses on and anyway it's a real trauma meal and it's a uh, Oh, it's a, a beef and potato. I've got a beef, oh, costy, beef and potato. <laughs> and then I've got a, a fruit, a mu some sort of muesli. Fruit, I'm a muesli. I'm dyslexic. I cannot read it. I'll have to get the boy over there to read it for us. <laughs> so anyway, aye, I've got dyslexia. I cannot read it, right? I'm, I'm not going to lie. Right, thick as pig shit, but I can, I can carry loads of big heavy burgers and graft like a nutter. <laughs> and that's all that matters. Right, so that's my food for the day. So if I can't be asked to do any wood prep for a fire, I'm not really bothered because I've got a gas stove and all I've got to do is boil some water. <laughs> but it just so happens. No, not him. He, he won't do the wood prep. I've already got some done. There's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> so yeah, this is basically camp. It's looking quite damp. I've got a little bit of a... Uh, well, obviously I've got a, a line on the floor there where the water gets stopped because of me top. 
So I've got a little bit of a wet patch down there. I'm sure Rooney's been peeing on the floor. All right, now I'll admit of it. I thought I'd lag out your bed. Did you? I would have left a turd on yours yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, right. Let's be find the turd. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, so anyway, that's that's enough banter for now. Alright. The, the start start the start the video and we've already we've already started with the taking the mickey out of each other. But it's that that's this is what we do all the time, even when we're on the phone. We take the piss out of each other all the time and it's all good fun. See us in a bit. Right, well, not me, not been much happening, and uh, I've just been sorting out personal admin, really, because uh, obviously I've just walked in here from another area, so obviously it was pouring down rain all morning, so now I've got my main top hanging up there, drying, and then I've got some bits and pieces hanging up on there, uh, just like me, one of my stuff sacks that I have on the outside of my Bergen, and my ground sheet, uh, just to put my feet on later on. When I'm sitting chillaxing in front of the fire with my boots off. But yeah, it's a. Uh, it was saturated, like, it's still, a, still a bit saturated. I think I'd probably be better off if I pull it out, like. As if it's, if it's a. As if it's sort of like set up a bit. But this is how I normally dry them when I'm at home in any way, like. So. It's not as if I'm gone anywhere. Yeah, the joys of being out for three nights in a row doing different camps. As you can see, camp's, camp's looking good. We've got a little fire going on in there at the minute, just burning off a bit of rubbish and that. So if you can burn it, just burn it, like, me point in carrying everything out. But uh, need a, I think we need a little bit more cam net for the front end up there. Just to calm it up a little bit better. And that's it really. So time's time's getting on like. Um we haven't really got much to do. We're not gonna do any more building at a camp apart from a um a wood store. So I might I might do that later on, like because I've got a few a few little poles here and that. A couple there which is off my light stand, which I never really use now. And then there's some more poles at the back end there as well. So I might be able to get a, a, like a frame for it knocked up at least. Um, we'll see. I'm just enjoying relaxing at the minute because it's been non-stop for like two days. Like. So my my shelter is looking like um, yeah, a laundrette. Just drying everything out. Rooney's nice and dry like because he, he was in there all night last night. You know, he's, he hasn't had to play out in the rain. Hey Rooney. So what you got? What you got cooking, Rooney? Yeah, I'm boiling some, boiling a bag of rice, and then I'm gonna have a Bombay bad boy mixed in with it. A Bombay bad boy. Bombay bad boy. <laughs> ba -ba 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 bad. It's a badass. You love a badass when you eat all that. <laughs> eh? <Aye. laughs> right. Well, I think. Um, what oh, kind? Of, I've got the camera holes in my hand. I haven't got on a um, stand. I think I might have my noodles. I'm a little bit peckish, like like I said before. It's, well, it's nice, bloody 20 to 3. Jesus Christ, done and out, apart from a bit of maintenance, personal admin, and sitting and talking to that's the, the strange man over there, look. Yeah, with his new hat on. That's the hat from TRC Outdoors, isn't it? It's like my camouflage one, but you've got the. Ooh, I'm not get too close to his face, like. That's the green one, but he's oh, he's bought the suit as well in the green, so that's good. We'll not look like twins when we put them all on. <laughs> hey, <laughs> and I like that colour actually. Really. It's actually Aries. I wish I had got that Night now. Night camo. Night camo. Is that what it is? Night camo. Right. Hi everybody. Right. It's ten past four. Rooney's went off on a little mission. Um. He's had to nip back the car and get a power bank because we're both running out of power. Obviously, I've been out for three days and he's been out last, uh, yesterday and tonight, but he never charged his power bank up so he needs power for it to charge his phone. Um, so I thought, right, well, he's away. 
let's see if I can get something done instead of sitting around, fanning around on my phone and enjoying just relaxing. I thought I'll, I'll, get, I'll get some graft done. So I went and found a dead tree and I've cut it. I've got four bits, two and a half lengths of me saw. All right, two bits there. And I'm just busy axing this one to get all the limbs off and get the, um, the bark off and all that. And they're gonna start a wall for here block this entrance off here all right Rooney was joking around here well i'm away man build the wall there man block it off for us and i was like nah kind of be arsed like but uh i'm going to see if i can do it before he gets back now i've got some thin posts just over there which would be ideal for making spam some uh spikes with some uh pins to pin it all in all right so happy days let's get cracking eh? let's see if we can get it done before he gets there Right, I tell you what, that's hard work in this heat. It's gone very, very muggy. I'm absolutely sweating like mad. I've only done four posts and three pegs, like three poles to stick in the ground. But there's the start of it, and anyway, um, obviously I'll have to get some more stuff. So what I'm gonna do for now is, because I don't want these getting pulled out, they're quite tight in any way, but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push them in as best I can, and then, uh, Get them tied off down at the bottom part, ready for to um, put some more in on top of the string. So what I'm going to do is put these down here a second on a bit of flattish land. It's winky wonky this camera and everything, so you'll excuse me. I just get that set. And then all I've done here is, oh, I'll tell you what, it's so bloody warm, it's unbelievable. Like. So what I'm gonna do is a Canadian jam knot. So anybody that doesn't know how to do it, just tie a little knot at the end, like so. Tie it, bugger off flies. And then just tie it, um, a normal knot like so. Okay, with a, with a, I'm getting attacked by flies and everything. I think I've just knocked the dude. Yeah, there it goes, squished. So I'll just bring this a little bit closer. I think his brother's just come to attack us now. Right, Canadian jam knot, start again. So you get a small, get a bit of cordage, do a, a small knot at the end like so, all right, and then just get it and tie it back on itself and pull it through. Get enough cordage that you're gonna get through and have enough to pull tight on it as well. So if I wanna cut it there. If it wasn't a big massive reel, then I will just pull the whole length through until I got it through, but I'm not going to do that with this bit. It's too long. And then all you do is, you make sure the bit that's got the knot on, sorry, the camera's off. What you got to do is, make sure the bit that the camera, um, start that again. So what you got to do is, make sure that the, the bit with the knot on is coming up over. So what you need to do is, you know, you follow suit and come up over in the loop, pull them together. All right, Let's put, give that a little tug so it stops it coming off. And all you do is just cinch it in. I'm getting a, attacked like this night tomorrow by flies. I think it's because I'm so sweaty. There you go. And that's tied. And then all you do is you get it, tie a little loop in it, bring it up through itself. And keep that pulled up tight towards where the Canadian jam knot is. And all that is, is it stops it from slipping off itself. All right. And then just cut off the loose end. And if you want to, you get a lighter out, burn the ends so it stops them fraying. All right. So I'm just going to do the same on the other side. And as you can see, the right flush with the, the top roll of uh, wood. Okay. So then I can just lean the next one on through there. And it, it's just... It keeps it a lot strength for it. If you do it every like three or four pulls, it keeps it nice and uh, tight and it keeps it a lot more sturdier than normal. All right, so 
there you go I'm not quite done yet like I think I'm gonna need at least another four say possibly another eight bits but I don't think I'm gonna do them tonight like but it looks better already doesn't it uh, now this post is obviously leaning out a tiny bit but all I'm gonna do is I'll just put you on pause and take you around right as you can see it's leaning there quite a bit all right so all I'm gonna do is the same again What I'm going to do is I'm going to work off this post that's already in. All right. It was just a case of trying to get the get the cordage through, like because I've got two two poles there. That's it. So it's going to go around the two poles now, and not just the one. And put that around there. By the time I get that into there, so that's going to be more than enough, and probably a little bit extra. So same again, get one end, tie a little knot in it on the end of the cordage, pull that nice and tight, little loop with a bit coming up, up over, see now I've, put, I've done that a little bit too short so I'm going to push this in with me shoulder and then try and get this down a little bit so it's level with the post on the top there and then once I get a reasonable length right push all them back let's get a little stick because obviously I'm fighting against gravity trying to pull a tiny little bit of cordage like that so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap it around that stick as best I can keeping a hold of it at the same time and use that as like a lever there you go, and that's give us a little bit more. And I'm just going to keep... And what I'll do is I'll finish this off with Rooney here. He can push this in, like so, without snapping my stick like. I think actually that might be enough. And I'll just put a couple of little wedges down there. There you go. There you go, and that's nice and tight there. All right, so I'm happy with that now. So all I'm going to do is tie it off again. Get my knife, cut the end off, pick the bits up, and then just put it into one side. And uh, what I tend to do is, if I need a bit of cordage just to do anything, I just tie all these little bits together rather than hiding them away like. Okay, so obviously this post is now is a little bit further away from the edge to what I wanted it to be okay but I've wedged it there and then what I can do is I can try and get a thicker log to go into this side here and that'll just marry up with the two bits of wood there and then all I do is get a bit of moss and fill the gaps up see it's, see it's trying to force something that's not going to go I think it's because the the log at the, uh, the second log up is quite thick um compared to these and it's not allowing these to go near the and um, the fence post in my side of the wall okay right oh. a bit dark that isn't it right obviously i'm sitting in my shelter so it's a little bit dark behind us but uh, yeah Rooney went for a little errand down to the car um to obviously he comes on a bike so it doesn't take him very long to get the car but nah, now he's went on a little, little journey somewhere. Uh, and he's he's gonna he's gonna bring us back a Jack, bottle of Jack Daniels and some coke. So happy days. So I'm gonna beat him to it the night. And I'm gonna get a can of Stella. <laughs> Cause uh, when I first come into Harwood, I carried some supplies up to here first, dropped them off, and then buggered off to my other location where I had done the, uh, making the bed which is would have seen before this one. But cheers everybody. Oh, because them have been out all night, they're lovely and cool, because they've been in the shade at the back of my bed. Obviously, they'll be gone by then, like by the time I've gone, I only brought a couple up. Oh, happy days. 
I'm just too hot. I wanted to get that wall finished before he come, but I'm, I'm absolutely ra racing around. And I'm getting tired as well. I've been out for three days and uh, yeah, I don't want any more accidents. Um, speaking about accidents, my thumb, it's it's no really. It was a bit of a bit of a snip and a bit of nail come off. I think the iodine was more painful than the actual hit. But uh, yeah, it is muggy. It's because it's been raining since the early hours of this morning until this afternoon, and then the sun come out, and obviously because we're in a in a pine woods, everything's damp, and the heat's just making it feel like tropical. It's unbelievable, like. And it's hard to get work done but you can see the condensation on the bottles of water and that eh look at it all that's how muggy it is unbelievable like but anyway i'm not going to bore you any longer i'll see you in a bit Right, well I've been prepping some wood there while Rooney's been out doing some errands. And here he is. The big lad himself is back. Blan up your hoop. Blan up your hoop. Aye. Back we've run out mine, so it'll be quick. You can get some supplies anyway. I've got a little bag from Miltry First. I call it the TARDIS. It's only 30 litres. I'll show you what's Just in step it. Step back a bit, because yeah, your whole belly's taking up the screen light. All right, okay. I'll let it put the light on, because you're in the darkness. Is it on? Aye. Bottle of oil. I'm not drinking that like. Lube your joints. I've been lubing them mate with a can of Stella. Oh, right. <laughs> One can of pop. Right. It's like the TARDIS but you can never get in it. Doctor Who's locked it look. No. It's, it's where it should be. The one I like that little over. bag like. Right. In there, rubbish bag. Because you need one of them. One. Right. Hey, in snacks. here. Some fresh chicken, cumlin sausages, right? Oh, are you stopping in there? Like? Aye. Oh. oh. Of my double deckers. I love double deckers. <laughs> I've got a madras kit. Jesus Christ. Right. Some wood burners. Galaxy, oh yeah, I haven't got them. <laughs> <laughs> right, so go into the pockets. Another can of pop. Oh, there's another can of pop. Right. Four cheesy top buns. Bloody Put down with the sausages for breakfast tomorrow. Oh, another can of pop. Right, then we've got a pack of mushrooms. Then we've got an onion. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. Right, onion. Then we'll get to of whoop, a bit squashed though, but some Uncle Ben's boiling the bag rice. And then a piece of the resistance, a bottle of gin for emergencies, and a bottle of... <gasps> oh, uh, you got the good stuff. Ah, oh, yes, that's nice. was the last nice. one, actually. Oh, Somebody oh, says I was just going to buy oh, that oh, now. Oh, Behind oh, us oh. in the queue. Boy, let so you how much that your last. And that is it. All them. A little 30 litre bag. Well, there's a pack of sweets in there, but I'm not telling Jimmy about that big pack of minstrels I've got. Cause all right, it's just Lundy here, so Jimmy doesn't need to know about them. All right, mate. that's fine. You and, you and Lundy can eat them. All right, yeah. okay. Aye. Right? 
and uh, I'm one sweaty person. So um, my mate, I've never stopped since you've been away, you know, popping. Yeah. I will have sat down and had a can. A can of what? Stella. <laughs> right, well for that, while I'm on camera, I'm just going to show you that I've got another charger for me. Right, my disco ball. <laughs> right, my torches and everything. And it's 100%. Oh, that's, the same, that's the same as mine, that. Aye, but yours hasn't got any battery power Mine's in it, Mine's got one ball left. Oh, one ball but, but, but I have been out for three nights. Oh, right, aye. You know, so I've been busy recording videos and things. Right, anyway, catch us no more. Aye, battery's going to run out. And, uh, yeah, I think I've got enough wood like um i don't think we need a massive fire to be quite honest no, it's, just uh, it's absolutely boiling we're having a madras we're having a madras mm -hmm. oh but i'll get some more wood done because it's going to be hot it's going to be a scorchio <laughs> <laughs> right uh, catches in a bit i think uh i might have a jack daniels <laughs> are you are you sweating like a fat lad in a sweatshop mate in a chip shop chip shop oh, happy, yeah. happy days Right, well, it's quarter to eight at night. We're going to start getting the fire on. Rooney's just doing a little bit of prep to the side there with all the veg, because uh, he's going to be making a nice curry tonight. So we're going to get the fire going nice and easy. Obviously, I'll put a load of bed of uh, dry twigs and everything on the bottom here. And then I've got one of these fire lighters. Quick, quick lighter. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let that catch a bit. Now these twigs are bone dry because they've been underneath my, uh, my black top. So I'm just going to start laying some of them across. All right. I don't think I've done a proper like bush crafty type fire for ages. Um, and I don't think I will. <laughs> because your mom said you couldn't be trusted with matches. Ah, oh, that's it. Like. So I'm just going to put a little pile of that up on there. Put an acorn on the top, make it look pretty, not that you can see it, like, because the flame's in the way. <laughs> and then just start building up on the sides. And as you can see, that's catching lovely, because everything there is bone dry. Whereas some of the other stuff I've got to the side, I'll show you later on, it's absolutely sodden, like, because of the rain. We must have had about a good 14, 15 hours of rain the day. The so, day? Well, well, from early hours. From early hours of the morning. Now, obviously, I've just put a little bit of um, moss on there with the twigs, so it'll be a bit smoky, and it'll clear out there, look. So anyway, that's the fire going. Happy days. I'm going to be maintaining that and try and get a nice bed of coals and that. I need to get the, the trays, um, the, the grills out and everything. As you can see. Oh. You come to the real action. Aye, the real just, action. Uh, chop the onions up with uh, the, the what? The, the onion. Onion. Onion in the mushrooms. And we're going to have a uh, a madras tonight. Are you putting onion juices all over your new lovely hat? Yes. There's nothing like having a bit of juice they're, on you. They're dead comfy though, aren't they? No. Aye. Well, I think I might get mine out because mine's camouflage. All oh, right. Or I might yeah. just put, actually, I might just put my woolly hat on because I feel <laughs> comfortable with that on. So, yes, that's it. We're going to get the chicken done and then we're going to do a bit marinating in a bit uh, sauce oh. for a while. So, so what he's going to do is he's going to marinate the chicken, but because we need to keep it covered because we've got loads of flies hiding around at the minute and midges, he's going to put it in my little pathfinder pot there because it's got a lid on. And then uh, we should be hunky dunky dory. I'm just going to pinch a little bit of onion. Oh, need some salt on that leg. Salt on onions? Yeah. Bit of raw onion with some salt on. Yum, yum, yum. But anyway, fire. It's going. I've got myself a lovely Jack Daniels. Let's get myself seated and uh, turn the camera up a little bit. Alright, so I've. Uh, he wears it, oh there it is. I'm halfway through my first Jack Daniels. I'm not going to take the mickey with it like. Listen to him, I don't know if you can hear him in the background peeing there in my toilet. And anyway, cheers everyone. Yeah, so in any way, because Rooney went to uh, Rothbury uh, to buy some, some alcohol and that and some foods. I didn't think he was coming back with foods and that. He was only going down to the car to get some, get a power bank. And then uh, he says, oh, I'm going to go to Roughbury and get some bits and pieces and all that. And uh, do I need anything? So I says, I get a bottle of Jack Daniels and some cans of Coke. 
and obviously you've seen earlier on what he got us, so happy days like. So we've went 50-50 on everything he's bought, so I'll be making sure I get a plenty of chocolate buttons and things or whatever he's got. But anyway, this is what I was going to have tonight, and uh, obviously I'm not going to be eating it now because Rooney's going to be making a super duper trooper mupa meal. And uh, there'll be lashings and lashings of it. So the different spoon was as last night. I wasn't. I wasn't going to go camping, was I? Aye. I, I had me bag. Yeah. Go on, aye. I had me bag packed uh, in my car last night, expecting to come out today. And I finished work, and uh, things was right last night. So um, I had minimum kit as well, and I've got dry foods like Jimmy. But uh, then I've come up here, uh, straight after work. Obviously, um, Jimmy was doing his own things in a different part of the, the forest. And uh, I did my thing. Um, but the one thing I forgot was a battery pack. So I had to basically go out and get this battery pack. So while I was at the car, I decided, oh, right, then I'll travel to the late, the local uh, village sort of thing. So that's why I thought fresh. Well, Is that the one that's got the shop for local people? For local <laughs> people, yes. For the local locals. <laughs> hey, Forrest is back, never seen him for donkeys. <laughs> Borth, Borth has been in the forest for a long, long time. <laughs> now that he's no longer prime minister, he has got time to reappear on the TV and Chubby Ubies. I didn't watch the news and that. Is he not Prime Minister now? Like, I don't know. I know he's giving it up, like. Anyway. I know he had products for that. Just one thing before uh, we cut this little epitardo is um, use the viewers, like obviously you come along with me. So in a couple of videos time, I'd like you to put in the description names of beers, funny names of beers and obviously likes so of uh, the people that comment will uh, put their names on and give you some mention in the YouTube so it could be like something like Jangle Septimus Prime Big Bollocks or something like that but like you'll have to spell it correctly because well, I'll just spell it the same way but anyway any funny names for naming of uh, drinks um, we'd like to go down that, it's just we can't afford to buy the real eels and all these posh... Uh, they're minging them anyway. They're not all minging, but uh, some of them are custard and rhubarb and stuff like that. So yes, we'll uh, rename Mr. R2 in different labels and uh, we'll see if we can have a, a laugh at your names for beer. Happy days. Right, well, as you can see, I've just finished cooking a curry madras, <laughs> a chicken curry madras, and I've put the rice into it, because big lad's just been sat out there all day, like, and, uh, yeah. yeah, but anyway, we're ready for serving, I'm going to get rid of that, that spatula, put that in the pan, I'm going to get me, me clean ladle, Little, 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 little. There you go, I'm gonna, I, put, oh, I need to put me other glove on, like, because I put the wrong glove on. You put your Michael Jackson I'm glove on, me. you? See them fingers? Do you really want to see those fingers? We really want to see those fingers. Anybody used to watch that? But anyway, Rooney's just getting one scoop. That's all I need, mate. The rest is for you. Two scoops. Really? Are you joking? Is that all you want? 
I'll have a little bit more like. Yeah, give you that corn a bit. You sure? Aye, that's enough. Right, lovely jubbly. Right, there you go, Rooney. Enjoy that curry I've made for you the night, mate. Oh, hey, you're a star. Right, I'm just going to move my camera a bit. Different angle, different thing. My back is killing us. I've been stuck in front of that fire, cooking this meal for hours. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you what, my back's killing us that much. I need to get on my knees. Put me. Uh, oh, pardon me, everybody. Oh, Rooney, really, that's too much there for me, man. As you see me, I've got a small little pan now. I'm just going to turn my light off because I think it's my lights, my head torch is killing the camera. Um, Yeah. There's a lot of heat coming off this fire, like. Right, I've got a little frying pan here because I'm trying to cut down on my intake. So we'll see how much of this we can get in it. And then I know whether my portion's right or not. Do you want a bit more, mate? I might do. A bit later. Yeah. Oh, there's, that, there's like a scoop. But come over here and get your bowl then. Just put it in. And if you didn't hear it now, you can always uh, hear it later. Oh, okay. There you go. Fuck twat. <laughs> <laughs> right, and I'll uh, I'll polish off the rest. Like I'm sh I'm sure I'll manage. I'm sure you will. Right, I kind of get the bits out the corner, like, but I think it's just rice. Anyway, let's take that off the fire. Put a bit of water on there. So yeah. There you go, just a small portion of chicken madras with rice, so I'm going to uh, sit back, relax and enjoy that. I'm just going to turn the camera around that way because I think I've got a uh, my spoon here, I'm going to take that glove off. I tell you what, it's dead warm, like, especially when you've been cooking over a hot stove all day. <laughs> anyway. See that was straight face, mate. I did, I. Bon appetit, everybody. <sighs> That's hot than what I thought, like hot wise, not spicy wise. But I, I think I've done a cracking job there, like. <laughs> Cheers, Rooney, really for uh, just giving us a few tips on how to cook a curry and rice. Brilliant, mate. But I, um, happy days. I'm going to get this down my neck. I'm going to finish off tonight's video with a, a cheers everybody and we shall see you in the morning unless Disco Dave gets out later on but I think his balls have gone, <laughs> <laughs> his, his Disco balls gone, sorry, it's died. Anyway, cheers everybody. Don't forget, like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget, go and check out Rooney's Instagram. He hasn't posted for a while because he's been quite busy. Um, but it's it's called Rooney's Oot in a Boot. I'll put it up on the screen for you. All right, go and check him out and give him a follow. All right, he pinches all my photographs in any way, so I didn't worry about it. If you've seen it once, you've seen it twice. See you later. <laughs> I love you, Rooney, mate. Peace, bro. Right, hi everybody. Um, haven't recorded anything this morning. It's half eleven now, so we've just been packing up, tidying up, camping things, getting stuff prepped for the next time we'll come back. So Rudy's just busy um, getting some food on the go. We're going to have some sausage sandwiches and some cheese rolls, and we're just burning off some of the some of the rubbish and all that as well. Just we don't carry everything out. We burn what what can be burned. Um, but like as you can see, all me all my stuff packed away. I've got a nice second cup of tea there, all packed away. And this yellow carrier bag here, as you can see, it's full of loads of rubbish. Rudy's got a carrier bag full of rubbish as well, like, and uh, we'll always take it out with. And there, 
There he is, Mr. Rooney, getting smoked out again. He's got the best position shelter in the camp because he's getting all the smoke all the time at the minute. But I, we're just cooking, well, Rooney's cooking some sausage sandwiches on the gas stove, and we've got some cheesy lovely topped baps. Cheesy topped baps. Right, so, and anyway, like I said earlier, um, me and Rooney, we've just been sorting out camp and all that, and Rooney's just finishing off now cooking some sausages to grow my cheesy baps. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm going to go over here actually because my second cup of tea will be getting freezing. Oh, aye. You're on about the remaining jobs. Uh, aye. Got a few few little tasks to do. Um, I'm going to get loads of little bits of um, wood and all that and put them underneath our top. Because um, we're not going to be here for a couple of weeks again now. And uh, hopefully it'll be nice and dry under there by the time we come back. We've had quite a downfall over the last uh, 48 hours, like up here, and everything is absolutely saturated. Like, but as you can see, where we keep our wood, the ground is dead dry. So that's happy days. I need to try and get them bigger logs all cut up and chopped up properly, like, because once you put them in the fire, they, they just seem to smoulder away, like, and smoke Rooney out, like. So, but anyway, that's where we're all at the minute. I'm gonna do a few tasks and then we'll be calling it a day like so I've got to get home for about two, three o'clock ish. Oh but I um that's it really. Rooney, do you wanna say anything mate? No, just stay safe and be happy. It's good to talk. Yeah, it is. Right, so on that note, I'm just gonna end the video here. Alright. Um Thank you very much everybody for watching, it's really appreciated, okay, uh, don't forget like, comment and subscribe, okay, and uh, I'll see you on the next one, take care now.